Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be um, creating a page and showing you how to replicate some really easy drawings in your book. So I'm starting off with this Dina Wakeley stamp, which is a really sketchy image. I love the Dina Wakeley um, stamps and uh, how they capture how she draws in real life with those beautiful um, fluid movements. So the paper I've stamped on is her collage tissue paper. You can use deli paper or you can use um, tissue, um, tissue paper, regular gift wrap tissue paper. But just have a practice with it um, by putting some gel medium underneath it and above it and see how translucent it gets. Because you want this to almost disappear. This is what's going to be the basis of your drawing. Um, it's going to disappear into the background. So once you've stamped out your image, whatever you've chosen to do, then you're going to um, paint into your journal. So I, um, this is the very last page of my used up journal, and I decided I wanted to just do some blues. Now this page had a little bit of gesso on it already, so when I do this resist technique, you can see that white of the gesso coming through. You can see on the craft page, which was on the right hand side, it hasn't resisted as much um, as on the other page, but you still get a pretty good impression. Once I've finished that and dried it, I'm then cutting out my tissue paper image and working out where on the page I wanted to put it down. And I actually decided I didn't like it right down the bottom, I wanted to have it further up the page, which is unusual for me because I don't like things floating, but this is where that drawing hat comes in too. So I've just put some gel medium underneath my image and I've put some over the top as well to seal it and you can see that image almost disappears. I also, um, because I don't like having a halo around my images, like to fussy cut around my um, tissue paper so it gets as close as possible um, to the edge of the tissue so you, you don't have that little white edge around it. Um, that's just personal preference, You might that might not bother you. And in this journal page that I'm doing, um, I'm going to be adding some paint and stenciling around the image so if you did do that um, you've got some room to um, mask any areas that you wanted to um, to hide those little white halos. So because I wanted a little bit more white on this side of the page just to match the other side I've just gone back in this is not actually white it's um, mineral which has got a slight blue tinge to it and I'm using the same stencil I had before and just putting some of that white back in. So this is where the, the easy drawing hack comes in. I'm using a Stabilo oil pencil and I'm just drawing over the top of the image um, or the stamped image and you can see it darkens up the lines and um, it gives you practice of um, trying to draw in this style but also it um, gives you the lines and the proportions that you can then extend off the page so you can see I've sort of drawn in a really simple body shape and all I've done is just extend the lines from the stamped image down to the bottom of the page and it's a really great way of if you want to make an image larger um, or you know you can add a body onto it or you know make really high hair, whatever you want with it, just to, to make that image your own. By sketching over the top with really loose lines as well, it gives you the opportunity to train your hand and to practice your hand drawing those sorts of um, faces or in that sort of way. Um, it gives you an opportunity to sort of um, practice your proportions and, and where things go on the page. So it's, a, you know, while you're definitely using a stamped image as your base, it's not your, your drawing, you are helping yourself, I suppose, develop some of those skills. And you'll notice the more you do it, the more free you are with your lines and um, that you start adding on things that may not have possibly been there before. Like um, I added on the collar and, and the arms and so on onto that Im image and added a bit more hair on. Um, when I first started doing this, I didn't used to do that. So... Um, it's a great way to, to practice. To finish off the image and to blend it into the background, I've just taken a text um, stencil. The well-being one was from Darkroom Doors and just stenciled lightly around it. 
and fading off the paint into the background. So I just um, tapped my sponge until all that paint had gone. And then I took this stencil, which is a Dina Wakeley stencil, and chose the words, your, world, your, shul, uh, the, 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 your soul shines. For the renew down the bottom, um, you might have noticed me, I just use a little bit of washi tape to mask off um, above and below the word renew. The reason I did that was I just wanted that word and I didn't want any of my sponging to go through um, any other parts of the, the stencil. So using a little bit of washi to mask off what you want to use is really, really handy. So in the close-up you can see that that stamped image is really blended into the background and all you really focus on are those pencil lines. So it makes it look like you've drawn that image even though you've had a guide to um, start out with. So I do hope you have a go at playing with drawing over the top of stamped images and practicing working with the lines and stamping onto the tissue paper and gluing it down gives you a beautiful um, start to doing your drawing. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.